Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart you can check. The next step is to rename the config file. Now for this you can go to file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder. Open local low folder, open wait folder, mega bonk folder and open the saves folder, open local directory folder. Here you can see config.json file, make a right click and then you can rename it. All the saved settings will be lost when you do so. So you can rename it and then you can launch the game and then check still not working rename the complete game folder now when you rename the save game files create a backup first because you will lose all the save game progress you have to start everything from scratch now for this you can go to the same location so over here go to this location and then you will see mega bonk you can just copy this folder create a backup first once you have a backup created over here now you can go back and then you can rename this folder. You have to start everything from scratch. All the save game progress will be lost. And then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to skip this step if you're not able to launch the game. If you're able to launch the game, you can switch to window mode and lower down video settings. So go to the settings and then you can go to video and you can uh, lower down resolution. If this is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more and you can switch to window mode over here if the vsync is on you can turn it on and turn it off and check which one is working fine for you and then here you can see quality now if the quality is set to like high you can set it to medium uh, i will just and then you can check the performance now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. Select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card, your operating system, and then click on find. Now on this page, you will see the latest graphic card driver. So whichever is the latest graphic card driver, GeForce Game Ready driver, click on view, and then you can click on download. And then once the download is complete, you can run the exe file. Click on yes to allow, click on OK and then click on agree and continue. Select custom option over here and then click on next. Put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Then click on next. After the clean installation, restart your computer and then you can check. Now still not working. The next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box, click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app. Go to the game installation folder. So in my case the game is installed in c drive so this is the location select the game exe file click on add and then scroll down find the game in the list once you find the game click on the game and then over here select high performance you will see your graphic card now launch the game next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option so go to steam make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 now Close this, launch the game, and then check if that does not work. Make a right click once again, go to properties. This time you can type in dash dx12, launch the game, and then check still not working. Remove this, follow the next step. Now, the next step is to verify the game file. Now, for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrated game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game from the game installation folder now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files and then over here you can see the game exe file make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work make a right click go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check still not working go to properties once again and this time you can try windows 8 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work, select Windows 7, 7, Windows 7 and then hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. You can even disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. When you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, you can uncheck these boxes, hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So I'm using Windows security, so open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, Windows security. 
and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app browse of apps and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall and then click on change settings at the top allow another app click on browse again go to the game installation folder open the game folder and then select the game exe file click on open click on add in my case the game is already added once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to now if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program next step is to install visual c plus plus file so you can go to microsoft website and once you go to the microsoft website install this x86 and x64 version x86 and x64 download both the files so click on it and then you can run this exe file download this x64 file as well and then run both the exe file so run x86 and x64 so if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete make sure both are installed once installed restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in window search box go to control panel go to hardware and sound go to power options now in my case i have only balanced but if you see power saver select power saver relaunch the game and then check you can even go for balanced and high performance check which one is working fine for you but if you see power saver over here try power saver first and then check you can enable or disable hardware accelerated gpu schedule now for this open windows settings uh, or you can type in graphics settings in windows search box and then go to graphics settings click on advanced graphics settings if the hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off turn it on and then check if it was if it is already on you can turn it off and then relaunch the game and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total ram for maximum is 3 multiplied total ram so you can check total ram in windows settings go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes so you have to calculate as per your ram and if you face any problem we can always revert back to the settings so do not worry about it so for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is total total ram in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total ram that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 me megabyte then three times multiplied three that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that it hits set and then click on ok and then ok ok now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in view advanced system settings again and then click on view advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on ok click on ok over here hit apply click on ok ok you will see restart option restart your computer and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advance change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to update windows to the latest version now for this open windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed make sure that you restart your computer 
and after the system restart you can check still not working uh, the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected if you have extra controller connected disconnect controller extra controller connected to the computer uh, you can if you are using vpn you can just close vpn disable overlay now for this you can make a right click on the game and then go to properties over here you can see enable the steam overlay while in game you can turn this off launch the game if this is already off you can turn it on so try both on and off and then relaunch the game and then check close all the overlay application like if you have discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running go to nvidia app settings and turn off nvidia overlay do not overclock if you have overclock set it to default close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner reward tuner running close it if you are undervolted you can be able to remove the undervolt and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can uninstall the game and after you uninstall go to the game installation de delete the game folder restart the computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive try installing the game to another drive and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel